So yeah, my name is Braxton Callen. I am from Southern Louisiana, and this is my first year of being a missionary with Family Missions Company. Um, and this all came about because my mother and I decided to go on a mission trip to Mexico two Thanksgivings ago. It was just an opportunity for both me and her to um, just like live out our faith together and engage in that. And so when I went, it was a very powerful trip for me. Um, I'd been involved for the past two years in a former, uh, former uh, missionary organization called Focus, and I absolutely loved it. Um, but when I came here, it was just an incredible witness to see the missionaries in particular. I saw that they lived out something called gospel poverty, which I saw an additional freedom in the missionaries that I'd never seen in anyone before. Just the joy um, and just the radical dependence on the Lord, um, as well as just their, their incredible spirit of thanksgiving in all moments and all times, just constantly thanking the Lord. And so when I left that mission trip, I, I decided, okay, like I need to make some lifestyle changes. Um, I need to like start living the gospel even to a greater extreme than I have been before. Um, and so I remember I went back to my spiritual director. He's a Benedictine monk up in Kansas. And I was talking to him, just telling him about the trip, how awesome it was, how much I enjoyed it. And um, I was telling him about this call I felt to, to poverty, to, to live and embrace this. Um, this is a gift the Lord's given us. And I'll never forget what he told me. He stopped me in my tracks and he said, Braxton, I think you need to heavily consider looking into becoming a family missions company missionary. And at the time, uh, yeah, my heart just dropped. I was like, okay, yes, whatever you say, like, you know, whatever the Lord wants is what I do, is what I responded. And um, of course, like any good Catholic, I didn't look into it at all. I um, just kind of ignored that call, that, uh, that direct uh, thing from my spiritual director and just kind of continued my way on doing my ministry and um, at the end of um, just the, the semester because I worked on a college campus um, we did a little retreat and part of the retreat we were reading through the book of Acts and uh, we were reading the book of Acts asking ourselves two questions one what does it mean to be a disciple and the second question being what like how do I how am I falling short of discipleship and uh, as I was reading through the book of Acts prayerfully um, yeah, I came upon Acts chapter 2. It was verse, I think, 33 through 30, 30 um, Acts 2, yeah, 37, um, where it says, um, yeah, the apostles went, they sold everything they had, they divided up amongst themselves, and they went out. And I remember just like my heart was kind of all over the place. I was kind of, I could tell the Lord was trying to tell me something. And so I went to the back room to start to pray. And when I did, I heard the Lord um, and he very clearly told me two things. He said, one, he said, Braxton, I want you to be poor and to be a saint. And um, after that, I knew what he meant. And so after that, I, could, I went, came on a come and see down here, and the Lord just um, just really moved my heart um, in ways that it, that's never been moved before. And that is why I'm here.